we had a storm come through August 10th. Uh, they call it a derecho. It's an inland hurricane. And we lost just about every tree on our property during that storm. Um, so the day the storm came through, thunderstorm warnings had been going off all morning. We've had a weather radio and the alarm went off, you know, a half a dozen times and nothing ever came of it. So my older daughter and I decided to run to Target to do some back to school shopping. Um, we got about two miles down the road and the wind picked up so quickly and so intensely I thought the van was going to blow off the road. So we sat through the storm in the van and watched as wind tore through and just bent trees over, pulled branches off of the, just ripped branches off of them like they were nothing. When the storm was finally over, we came home and I had no idea what to expect. And the house is standing, it has damage, there's holes in the roof, so we are so, so thankful for that. But the damage to the trees and the damage to the property and even driving into Cedar Rapids and the damage is so much worse than I ever could have imagined it would be. Deaconess Kathy O'Day, I'm the Director of Disaster Response with Lutheran Church Charities. Oh, we are here because a derecho came through on August 10th and caused just massive destruction in Cedar Rapids and the surrounding towns. Uh, just uh, trees down, there wasn't a house in town that didn't have a tree down, uh, roof damage, some kind of damage. But we had all the, the widow makers in the trees, the, the damage that we couldn't get to. So it was really great to have uh, the alert team come in and be able to take out those widow makers, take down some trees that were in some precarious positions as well, something that we can't do on our own, don't have the lift, don't have the equipment. We were invited by the Iowa District to come and help, help them clean up and really they've been doing a fantastic job uh, with their own teams and with some other teams that have come in from out of town, but like Pastor said, the hurricane hit and any crews that were here went down south. Um, anything that could be done on the ground pretty much had been done, but they really needed equipment. We were able, we've been able to bring in a couple lifts and a lot of bobcats and just the heavy equipment to move things and move things for them as they're cutting. And um, over the last two weeks when we've been here, we've already completed a couple dozen sites and we'll plan to be here till Saturday and we'll get quite a bit more done just as helping them out as much as we can. All the disaster relief teams that have come and helped and brought big equipment have been a lifesaver. I don't know how we would be getting through this without all the generosity of so many people in our community and outside our community. You know, the reason we get called to the site is because there's trees down, there's debris in the way, but the real reason we're here is to be the hands and feet of Jesus and provide relief to the homeowner. Even if we don't get any trees cut that day, just the relief that we can provide to the homeowners is immensely valuable to them. Um, so we've honestly known about Lutheran Church Charities for a long time. Um, we've had some of the comfort dogs come to our church and you know we've been involved very lightly with some of the ministries and we've been donors and um, you never think it's going to happen to you, right? You never think your house is going to be the one that's going to need help, that you're going to be the family that needs help. I think it's important to know that this, yes, we're doing a lot of physical labor and chainsaw, but it is a ministry. Having the necessary tools and equipment uh, which all come in through donations to be able to provide that relief to the homeowner is immensely amazing. Lutheran Church Charities the, doesn't charge for any of their services. We do it as a, as a volunteer service. I'm so grateful for people who haven't been through these disasters, haven't had to deal with these terrible situations, but who can empathize with those of us who have enough to be able to donate so that these crews can come out and help. We surely enjoyed the guys that came in and did the work. Uh, not only the work that they did, but getting to know them, hearing their stories as well, why they got involved in LERT and uh, the ministry that they do in various places. Um, just a wonderful time with them as well and uh, really appreciate the work that they did. People are acting as the hands and feet of God and Jesus to come out and help those of us in need. It's just. It's incredible. I, I tear up when I think about it. I'm trying really hard not to cry right now. <laughs> For everybody that comes out here and volunteers, it's because it's our way of showing Jesus Christ to be in the hands and feet of Christ to somebody else and serving a brother and sister in need. And they love to do it.